Let's talk about some basic keying techniques because it's a task that you'll be called on to do from time to time. In this case, what I'd like to do is I'd like to add this shot of our mime to the background that we have of France. And what we're going to do is we don't want him to be full frame the way that he is. We'd like to shrink him down a little bit, put him in the lower left hand corner and make sure that the key is well done, but that we also do a little bit of color correction to remove some green spill from our talent. Now let's just pick a point in our shot here, right about here that we're gonna wanna add as our in point. I think that's pretty good. And we're just gonna take this, drag it down here. We could stretch it out to the end of our background shot just so that everything lines up. Now the effect that we're going to use to do the key is the ultra key effect. So I'm just gonna type in ultra key inside the search window and let's take the ultra key effect and drag it and drop it onto the topmost layer in our composite. Once it's there, we're going to double click on our shot. We're gonna to navigate to the effects control window and now let's get in and do the key. The first place we need to always go to to do our key is to the key color. Now you're gonna notice that we have a slightly two-toned color for the green in the background. Now, these colors are very close, so chances are we're not gonna have too much to worry about when we actually do the key. One other thing that I always like to suggest to editors and even graphic designers and motion graphic designers when they're working is that when you choose the green key color, always pick an area almost right next to your talent because chances are that area will predominantly be around the edge of them even if you get a little bit of bleed out from your key around the side. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is select the eyedropper. I'm gonna choose this green right in here just beside our mime. And most people think, well, that looks pretty good. I think we're all set to go. We do, however, need to get in and make some refinements to our key because there's some things going on here that are not readily apparent. Let me show you what I mean. Once you've pulled your key, the next thing you're going to want to do is to head to the output dropdown and change it from composite to alpha channel. What this is showing us is the actual black and white information, black being what is going to be removed and white being what is going to be kept from the shot that we have the ultra key applied to. Now this should be solid black and solid white, but you'll notice that if I zoom in a little bit, it's not completely white, which means that we're going to be able to actually see through our talent. If I switch this back to be the composite, we'll actually be able to start to see through depending on how bad that key is pulled to the background. So let me switch back to our alpha channel and let's fix this because it is something that's fairly straightforward to fix. We're gonna to head to the matte cleanup section and we're going to adjust the contrast of our key. By doing that, you'll notice that the little black lines in there have now almost completely disappeared. There we go, they're now all gone. And this is now a perfect key. I can now switch back to the composite and there we go. Now there is one other thing that I need to adjust and it's something that's not readily apparent unless you're looking for it. And I always look for this in my shots. If you take a look at the skin color of our mime, it's not exactly the proper skin color because we have a bit of bleed over happening from the green screen behind him. So what we need to do is to do a little bit of color correction to fix this. I'm gonna head down to color correction and I'm gonna to come to the hue value and I'm gonna set the hue value somewhere around minus 12. Now, as soon as I do that and hit enter, you'll notice right away that skin color has now corrected itself. Here's the before and here's the after. This skin color now looks good and our mime would be done, except for the fact that he's standing a little bit too close to the camera, and I like to position him right down here towards the lower left-hand side of the screen. Not too much, just subtly. Let's head back up to the top of the effects control window, and let's adjust our scale parameter down to about 75%. Once I've done that, I'm going to select the motion parameter, we now get our bounding box around our mime, and I'm just gonna position him down in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, just like this. That is looking much better. Now I can come back and hit play, and you can see now that our key is looking very good. You'll also notice that we had a little bit of stutter in our playback. We just finished talking about playback with the yellow bar at the top of the timeline. So this shot might require a render based on how the performance is after we've played it back a couple times. That time you'll notice it played back in real time. 
So keep that in mind if we wanted to render this to get guaranteed real-time playback we could, but you know what, I'm happy with it and I think we're ready to put it in our production.